Tonight, an urgent search and rescue operation underway for two elite U.S. Navy SEALs missing after falling into the water during a nighttime boarding operation, according to two U.S. officials. It's unclear what prompted the SEALs to board the vessel, conducting the operation in pitch black on the open ocean on Thursday. Doing boarding operations in the ocean at night are some of the most dangerous things that you can do. For seasoned operators, they'll tell you it's the most dangerous thing that we do. The SEALs operating in the Gulf of Aden between Somalia and Yemen, now a hotspot for U.S. naval activity after at least 28 attacks in recent months on commercial ships in the region by Iran-backed Houthi militants. Overnight, the U.S. conducting another retaliatory strike against the militia group. And just this week, a massive U.S.-U.K. assault targeting the Houthis' operations. A barrage of 150 bombs and Tomahawk cruise missiles hitting at least 60 Houthi targets across more than two dozen locations. Satellite images showing areas before and after the strike. Explosions seen destroying Houthi facilities in this video from British forces. The airstrikes in response to an escalating series of attacks on commercial ships by the militants. Snarling a vital trade route home to roughly 15% of all global maritime trade. In this video, released by the Houthis late last year, you can see the group storming a commercial ship. Companies now forced to choose between sailing through the dangerous Red Sea or traveling an expensive extra 10 days around Africa. A standard 40-foot shipping container now costing $4,000 to ship from China to Northern Europe compared to $1,500 in November. Meantime, thousands of protesters in Yemen condemning the U.S. airstrikes and Houthi leaders promising the attacks on ships will continue in solidarity with Hamas in its war against Israel as the 100-day mark of that conflict looms. Jay O'Brien joining us now. And Jay, turning back to those two missing Navy SEALs, what more are we learning about what may have gone wrong? With that former SEAL we spoke with tonight said that these kinds of boarding operations need to be perfectly choreographed and executed without a hitch. SEALs train for this kind of operation constantly, but they are inherently dangerous and they're made even more risky by high waves in that part of the world this time of year. We're also learning late tonight that one of those SEALs dove into the water to rescue the other. Both, of course, now missing. Wait. All right.